All right, guys, we got some huge spoilers about the upcoming episodes of Board. So obviously, there's going to be the Mitsuki retrieval arc, if you guys want to call it that. But this arc has really been a little bit lackluster in the previous episode. But in the last episode specifically, it has been looking a lot more interesting. In the next couple of episodes, we're going to be continuing on with this arc. So hopefully, these episodes will actually follow the trend of the last episodes. Now, before further ado, I'm not going to really hold up any of you guys' time. You guys know it. These spoils come from Spiraling Sphere. The link to Spiraling Sphere's Twitter is going to be in the description below. As well as mine i'll also be retweeting spiraling sphere all of his spoilers going on to the next episode episode 77 the title a powerful enemy garaga's fierce assault now this is going to be october 14 one of the biggest parts of the last month of board so is that there was a huge gap in between episode 75 and episode 76 it was about 17 days which was insane now these next episodes are going to be all seven days apart it's going to be all weekly thank you god but going into the actual paragraph of episode 77 it says determined to get their hands on the Gekiri via whatever means necessary, Boruto teams up with the others to try and corner Garaga. But Garaga's ability to accurately detect the location of his opponent and the ability to change them into stone forces Boruto into a hard battle. Amidst the battle, Boruto and his friends recall a strangeness in Garaga's movements and form a strategy according to that and are finally able to corner Garaga. Then Boruto raises a certain proposal to Garaga. Alright, so after reading this first paragraph, they did something that I didn't think was possible. I didn't really think that they would be able to corner Garaga and get him to basically comply with them after one episode. It looks like they actually did it. Nine times out of ten, let's be honest, the plan probably came from Shikadai Manon because he was very smart in situations like this. But I have no idea how they actually managed to corner Garaga Manon because Garaga, he could just use pure force to get out of any situation that he is in. If you guys think about it, I mean, Shikadai's shadow possession jutsu can't do anything. Boruto's shadow clones can't really do anything. Inoja's beach girl, let's be honest. Those things are ink. I mean, I really don't understand how they really corner Garaga, but it's okay. If you guys didn't know what get hearing means, it's basically the name of the reverse scale. So it basically said that determined to get their hands on the reverse scale via whatever means necessary. Now going into the next episode, episode 78, it says each and every expectation. Now the paragraph says Mitsuki is taken by hidden stone ninjas, Kakuyo, Seki, and others. Yakuyo and others are heading to their home country and the land of earth. On the other side, after receiving the information from the white snake sage, Using his power that Mitsuki is headed towards the land of Earth, Boruto and his group are also advancing towards the land of Earth. Alright, so this episode is basically going to be a Boruto finally sets sail to see exactly what's going on. In these two paragraphs, we haven't really heard anything about the mysterious ninja that is in the Hidden Leaf Village called Yurito. If you guys haven't really seen the last episode, I'll just refresh your memory. Yurito is this guy that pretty much stole Serenity. He looked very sinister. I'm not completely sure who he's working for, but it does make it look like the writers of Boruto are implying that this guy is probably a little bit evil now as i said these spoilers didn't say anything about him these spoilers have been known to not really detail everything that's going to happen in an episode so i won't be surprised if we do see something very interesting happen with yurito as i stated in my last review the board to writers are doing a very good job of layering this arc for example there are multiple storylines and sub storylines in this arc you have the board to chasing out the miski thing you have shikamara finally trusting shikidai to do whatever he wants you have sakura finally doing whatever she can to actually get the person that was attacked by miski to wake up and give them some sort of information and also Yurito seems to be the one that is directly opposed to that situation he looks like he doesn't want Sakura to gain any information to tell Naruto but going on to the next episode episode 79 the title is going to be meeting again Mitsuki so it looks like they're going to be meeting in this episode going into the paragraph it says standing in the way of Boruto and his group who are chasing Mitsuki is Koyuko Koyuko possesses enough strength to be able to defeat Jonah in the village of the hidden leaf who will be tasked for searching for Mitsuki and dominates Boruto and the others. With the appearance of a helper, they somehow are able to repel Koyuko and can finally have their desired reunion with Mitsuki, but dot 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 dot. So this right here is a very interesting episode. I feel like so far, this is probably like the most interesting episode that I'm really wanting to see. Obviously, Boruto finally meeting Mitsuki in this episode is going to be something very huge. We're finally going to get to see exactly what Mitsuki wants. And not only that, but Boruto is going to be in a little bit of battle in this episode. Now, the big thing that I do want to see is what Koyuku is because we have been speculating in the past that hey these guys possibly have a little bit of powers from the Akatsuki if you guys haven't really seen it I'll put like an annotation up top in the top right I basically spoke about how these guys look like they have some powers from Daedara and Kakazu 
So I'm not completely sure if this guy's gonna have a very similar ability to somebody of the Akatsuki as well, but honestly only real time will tell. Now another very interesting thing that we did see in this paragraph is the fact that Boruto will be getting help by somebody else. They didn't necessarily tell us the exact name, which is definitely by design, they don't want to spoil everything for us, but it's very interesting to speculate who it can possibly be. Now we did see in the opening, we did see some ninja from the Sand Village. Shinki could possibly be a very good addition, mainly because Shinki and Mitsuki they have some track records. Shinki understands that Mitsuki didn't go all out when they actually did fight. This could possibly be a situation where Shinki just wants to save Mitsuki so they can finally fight again. That would be absolutely hilarious. But there's also a possibility that Naruto realizes that Boruto and everybody else are in some very grave danger and he possibly does send some Jonin backup or he does send another team. Maybe Iwabe's team, maybe Sumire's team. But this is looking to be a very promising arc and I'm so much all for it. Now in the next episode, episode episode 80 is called Mitsuki's Friends. Going into the actual paragraph it says, Mitsuki refuses to return to the village with Boruto and the others and instead wish to continue on with Koyuko's group. During this, Sekai becomes more ill and his condition also worsened. In order to help the suffering Sekai, Koyuko heads in the direction of their comrade and during this time Sekai says to Mitsuki, I want you to teach me about humans. Around this time, Kuro Suchi, the four Suchi Kage is looking after her grandfather Onoki, who's Health is in shambles when she is attacked by a group of unidentified people. Now, this is looking to be a very interesting arc, honestly. You know, to be honest, I know a lot of people aren't gonna probably think that man because we're not talking about Koaki. But there's a lot of stuff happening in this arc. I feel like it's gonna be very interesting. Now, in this paragraph alone, we did find out that Mitsuki is not going back with Boruto. He does not want to go back with Boruto, which is very interesting in itself. I feel like it has a lot of parallels to the Sasuke retrieval arc. That's why I'm calling it the Mitsuki retrieval arc. One of the things that really has me thinking is that supposedly Sekai says to Mitsuki, I want you to teach me about humans. Now, that could possibly mean that Sekai is not a human. That could possibly mean that Sekai is like from another planet. I have no idea. I don't want to make any speculations about Sekai being an Otsuzuki member because that I feel like that would probably be going too far. But there is a possibility of that. If I were to give my theory in this video, I'd probably say that Sekai is somebody that probably didn't have much contact with the outside world. He probably is a human. Probably lived in a very strict village where he wasn't able to go outside of his own area and basically interact with other humans. And this is probably like the first time of him probably doing that. Now this could be for many reasons. This could be for one of the most popular reasons in the Naruto verse is that that person Sekai might have been too strong and too powerful to be in contact with the outside world and he might actually lose control if he were to be in the outside world. And this could actually be in direct correlation with the opening where you do see Boruto basically engulfed in a lot of ice and he is fighting this one beast of a person. Boruto might actually be fighting this person and Sekai might just be extremely overpowered. Now there's also the side story of the Suchikaga getting into a fight with somebody else from other villages. It says that she is basically trying to tend after Anoki, but she does get attacked by a group of unidentified people. I really don't think that she's going to be attacked by anybody in the Mitsuki case because I really think that everybody that's dealing with Mitsuki is going to be right there with Mitsuki with Sekai, basically trying to help out Mitsuki, tell this guy Sekai about humans, even though Mitsuki doesn't know anything about humans either. But the unidentified people that probably attack Kurosuchi. I think it would probably have something to do with Yurito. As I said earlier, Yurito does look very suspicious and he's pretty much the only other person or the only other outside threat to everybody else that we do know thus far. Now the people that do attack the Suchikaga could be very different. It could be, it could be people from the Kata organization. It could be a lot of people, but that's just my opinion. And the last thing I want to talk about is today being Naruto's birthday. If you guys don't know, today is Naruto's birthday. I want to share my favorite moment of Naruto. And it has nothing to do with the spoilers, by the way. My favorite moment for Naruto is when he actually beat my favorite character in Naruto, which is ironic, which is Pain. I feel like when he beat Pain, he really had a shift of his mentality. If you guys know Naruto, he used to always jump into things very quickly. But after he fought Nagato, it really made him think about a lot of other things moving forward. And I feel like that helped Naruto for the better. But let me know what you guys think about these episodes in the comment section below. I feel like the episode that I'm most excited for is definitely episode 79. This is when Boruto finally meets Mitsuki and not only that, Boruto does end up fighting a character called Kokuyo and someone else does end up helping Boruto out in this situation. I feel like that's the most interesting one. Let me know which episode you guys are most interested for, but it's being a boy Barbie and we out. I'm the youngest nigga rapping. Oh my god, oh my god. If I die, I'm a legend. Oh my god, oh my god. If I die, I'm a legend.
and I'm up first.